Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, August 27th, I think, or 28th, I'm not sure. Anyway, it's it's Monday, I think it's the 28th. Um, busy week, last week was busy, busy for me, you guys. Um, I am going to insert some video and a couple of um, pictures of what my week, week was like last week. Um, and as you can tell by the title of this video, I don't know if I am carb sick, and I'll explain why, or just sick sick. I don't, I just don't know. Last Monday, my youngest um, went to the recruiter's office and they went up to MAPS Monday night. Um, Tuesday, we wrote up, it was about an hour hour and 20 minutes, hour and 15 minutes to go to my daughter's second swear-in for the Navy. And I'll go ahead and post a video of that. Hi, Reagan Wells. You solemnly swear on the front. You solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign or domestic. Against all enemies, foreign or domestic. That I will bear the truth of faith. That I will bear the true faith and allegiance to the same. And allegiance to the same. And that I will obey the orders. And that I will be, obey the orders of the President of the United States. Of the President of the United States. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. And the orders of the officers appointed over me. According to the regulations. According to the regulations. And the uniform co code of military justice. And uniform code of military justice. So help me God. After we did that, um, my middle daughter actually came home that Friday before to spend some time with her sister before uh, she shipped out. Uh, unbeknownst to me, I didn't realize she had taken a whole week off. So I just thought she was going to come home for her sister swearing in and then head back to D.C. That was not the case. She ended up staying uh, up until this past weekend, Saturday night, and she headed back. So a lot of my time was occupied with my middle daughter all week. Um, I'll go ahead and insert some pictures of what we did. And on that um, Saturday before my youngest shipped out last weekend, not this weekend here but the weekend before we had the gender reveal party for her and I'll go ahead and insert a video of that. Here we go you guys! Here we go. One, two, three, two, two one, baby girl. She's having a baby girl. And I was actually quite excited. I was going to go ahead and post the sound to that video, but I'm not going to do that because my scream was so loud. It it was it was way too close to the phone. So I I'll I put it in with a little bit of my own little sound there so to spare your ears for that. So, uh busy 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 week for me. Now, my youngest was also feeling a little under the weather a few days before she left. She did get better before she left. And then while my middle daughter was here for the whole week, she was very nasally. She wasn't sure if it was pregnancy-induced rhinitis or she had actually caught something from my youngest. This morning, well, let me back up a little bit. Last Monday was mine and my husband's 24th wedding anniversary. But because um, my youngest was leaving Monday, we decided not to do anything that night. So last night we went to Texas Roadhouse. And um, I ended up eating some potato skins. And the way Texas Roadhouse does their potato skins, it isn't a half a potato, they actually quarter them. So I ate like three quarter pieces. So we'll just say one and a half potatoes. They're probably about that long. Um, and I ate one of their rolls. 
with their sweet butter. <sighs> and I don't know if the way I feel today is because of it or because I'm sick from my daughter's being under the weather. I don't know. But I got on the scale this morning and I'll be damned, I am up five pounds. I hit 190 this morning. I don't understand it. A few potatoes in a roll. Apparently my body is so used to being keto that the smallest or the slightest things that I eat skyrocket me. However, it is, it is like 2.15 right now. And we finished our meal at 5.30, I think, yesterday. So I'm, I'm going my longest that I can fasted. I've had just black coffee and water up until right now. And I have been using the bathroom steady. So I am was curious. Okay, so I've been using the bathroom right steady. Am I releasing the inflammation weight and the water weight that I'm holding because of what I ate yesterday? I got on the scale about 10 minutes ago and I'm literally down three pounds from when I got up this morning. So I'm at 187. So I am releasing the inflammation weight, but golly, man, a couple of pieces of potato in a roll and some, a little bit of sweet butter is insane to me what that stuff does to my body. Okay, moving along. I am eating one enormous meal today and probably by the time I get done doing all this, it'll be close to like 20 minutes to three, maybe quarter to three. And I will not eat anything after four. So the next few days, it's going to be an OMAD for me. And it's going to be, it's going to be fairly uh, fat heavy. So what I'm going to do is I got two things going on today. I'm actually going to do a, a skillet pizza with, with a little, probably a couple mozzarella. Right here, I have six ounces of hamburger. 0.8 ounces of green pepper, 0.8 ounces of red pepper, and 0.8 ounces of onion. And I uh, just put in like your regular taco seasoning types. You know, the, the smoked paprika, cumin, chili powder, salt, pepper, and garlic. And I've put it on there. I'm also going to use um, probably three or four packs of the Taco Bell sauce. My daughter had Taco Bell, so she had a bunch of sauces that she brought. Those are zero carb. So I'll probably use a couple of Diablo and a couple of Fire. I'll also sprinkle that, the top of that, with uh, probably what little bit of cheddar cheese I have left in this bag. Also, I have a can of the chicken breast from Walmart. This is 12.5 ounces. <sighs> yeah, um, I doubt I'll eat all of this, but I'll probably, I may just go ahead and count the whole thing. It's a lot of protein in that. Let's see. Nine grams of protein for per each serving, and there is six servings in this. So that's what, 45 grams of protein in this? So... I also have just a little bit of pico that I made right here with a couple of cherry tomatoes, some pickled jalapeno, uh, salt, pepper, garlic, uh, a little bit of lime juice, and olive oil. I'm going to saute the chicken with this one and a half ounces of broccoli and with some cauliflower rice. And then I'm going to mix it up with the little bit of um, Alfredo sauce I have left in this. And that's going to do it for my day. I'll do my best to calculate all this on the um, card manager and go ahead and um, post that at the end of this video. But I'm going to go ahead and, and throw this uh, cauliflower chicken stuff all together. And I'll go ahead and try to do a, you know, a quick speed up of that. And then I'll show the quick speed up of the skillet pizza. And then I'll come in. I'm going to try to come in on Wednesday, you guys. I'm going to, you know scale back the videos a little bit my throat is killing me i woke up with a horrible sore throat so i'm hoping that it's just uh carb sick versus regular sick because i don't need that so all right guys we'll go ahead and get to cooking mm -hmm. 